I wasn't a Jew. And then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak out for me. Comments? Yeah? What do you think about the don't ask, don't tell in the military? I thought that was rather um, double thing. Um, I don't agree with don't ask, don't tell. I also don't agree with their policy prohibiting soldiers from um, being gay or openly or unopenly or having relationships with men. I do disagree with them. Uh, I mean, I would agree with a policy that would prohibit fraternization in that manner because that would undermine um, any, any case where you have like, people in that kind of relationship fighting side by side is going to create serious problems and issues and that shouldn't happen. But as far as the relationship that they have made at home or partnered at home, that the sex of that partner should not be relevant to whether or not they can serve in the military. Yeah. Um, do you believe we're a Christian nation, and do you believe our founding documents are based on Judeo-Christian principles? I believe we are a high, strongly majority Christian nation. But our founding documents are designed to also respect the rights of the minority. That's what I assume is meant by we're a republic and not a democracy. Is majority rule alone is not the standard by which we are to make laws, but we also have certain God-given unalienable rights that are not to be infringed upon. Um, so clearly the, the founders, being majority Christian, brought that with them. And like I just mentioned, even ideas like what I'm calling moral fairness one can find roots of in the golden rule in um, the Gospels. But that does not mean that the, the established religion of the United States is Christianity. It does not have one. It expressly forbids that. But even though the people were largely Christian that founded it, and they were largely influenced by their faith. Yeah? I was at the debate, and I vaguely remember the question about Sharia law, and I think that was a question that you responded to that was a little different than what the other candidates had responded. And the question was something to the effect of, um, would you allow Sharia law to, to rule in the courts? Something like that. No, to be practiced. And the key word was practice. If they said enforced, I would have just said no. Well, here's the thing, here's the thing though. See, in, in, in Sharia law, goes well beyond what our Constitution, you know, other than the fact it's being, you know, degraded, allows. And and I think that was that was kind of the point of the question was, would you allow the Sharia law to rule like, you know, a judge to, to use Sharia law in ruling? And that goes no. against the Constitution. No, and in fact, actually, I'll even say practice of, you see, I would say actually, the practice of all Sharia law, point A to point B, no. Because part of the practice of does include penalties. However, that's also true of Levitican law. For instance, I, I just found a passage earlier today where it said, insulting your parents carries the penalty of death. Stoning. Okay, Lord, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> but definitely, at least you wouldn't have to worry about lethal injection or hanging, but death. Now, I'm no. And probably a lot of parents would welcome that, but, uh, but I certainly, as far as um, under our constitutional system saying, as far as if someone had asked, would I allow the practice of Levitican law? And I said, no, it would suddenly sound like I was against people practicing kosher or taking time off on the Sabbath. But, um, and that's the, I guess the point I was making, no one would make such, but when, when it comes to Sharia law, people, I guess, will automatically assume that when I said allow the practice, maybe that I would mean allowing people to do, um, to actually self-enforce or something. No, I would well, not agree with I that. Think that the, I think that the problem is, is that when you're looking at Sharia law in the term of Islam, Islam also says you either convert, it doesn't matter whether you are a Christian, a, a Hindu, atheist, agnostic, or whether you either acknowledge Islam or, according to the Quran, you get beheaded. And, and many of the things that are being perpetrated toward non-Christians, I'm sorry, non-Muslims, is, is they're forcing their will on, on other people, which again, goes against our Constitution. Again, enforcing your will on other people, I'm solidly against. And in fact, I'm against it beyond just that 
in the Bay Area. I'm against it everywhere, as maybe you may have gathered, and somehow that's controversial some of the time. Um, but on a matter of principle, I'd be against you know, um, forcing you know, a belief system on people. Actually, I'm against forcing anything on people by violence other than to protect people from violence. The only legitimate role I recognize, even with or without the law or the Constitution, just going from an extension of the notion of unalienable rights, which predate any notion of the Constitution, um, it is wrong to violate those unalienable rights. However, people have a right to protect themselves from those violations, and that is where force is acceptable and only where force is acceptable. Okay. Yeah, and I, I'd just like to make a comment. I think that, that in, your, your, in your comments about Levitical and, and Sharia law, I think that muddles things. If you would say uh, people are free to practice their beliefs, the use of law takes on a four 